Hey everybody, welcome back to your weekly horror news update. This is Morbidly Beautiful. I'm Nightmare Maven and let's get into this. You may or may not have seen the newest trailer for Pet Cemetery. I do have to warn you that I've heard the trailer gives away a lot. So if you're like me and you hate spoilers, don't watch the trailer. In semi-related news, Stephen King has seen the full movie now and sent out a tweet saying, this is a scary movie. Be warned. So it seems like the King has given the movie his approval and we'll be able to check it out for ourselves on April 5th. There were some rumors uh, a few years back now, you may remember about a reboot slash remake slash sequel slash whatever of the 1996 cult classic film, The Craft. And for a while, it seemed like this wasn't actually going to happen because news just dropped off about it. Um, but now it looks like it will happen now again um and robin tunney is going to possibly have a cameo question mark we recently spoke to etalk about the reboot saying they are still remaking it zoe lister jones is writing it and i may or may not do it i'm so proud of that movie it was the first lead i ever had and it's a movie young girls today still watch at sleepovers it's girl power and i'm so proud of it i'm so proud of it so I guess we'll see. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on any news as it emerges. I feel like it's common knowledge among most horror fans that there are certain filming sets for classic horror movies that are infamous for being haunted or cursed. Kind of like The Exorcist and Poltergeist. Shudder recently announced a new docuseries that will explore various and infamous horror movie sets that were haunted or cursed. Written, directed, and edited by Jay Cheel, Cursed Films will reveal the events that haunted these productions through interviews with experts, witnesses, and the cast, directors, and producers who lived through the real-life events. Were these films really cursed, as many believe, or just the victims of bad luck and bizarre circumstances? There is no official release date or a trailer or anything like that for this docuseries, but I'll be sure to keep you guys updated as news emerges. Netflix's conversations with a killer, the Ted Bundy tapes, took the internet by storm when it premiered last month. In unsurprising news, Netflix recently acquired the distribution rights for the upcoming feature film about Ted Bundy called Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. This is unsurprising because the Ted Bundy tapes went so well and Netflix surely wants to cash in on that. Um, also because Joe Berlinger, who directed the Ted Bundy tapes, also directed Extremely Wicked trailer for the featured film, which stars Zac Efron as Ted Bundy, has people divided on whether the film will make light of a man who killed 30 women or not. And apparently Netflix is going to allow a limited theater release before it drops on the streaming site. So there's no official date for that yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I know. And finally, some collectible news. Following the September release of It Chapter 2, fans will be able to get their hands on You'll Float 2, The World of It by Elise Wax. This official behind the scenes compendium will include a foreword by director Andy Muschietti and is available for pre-order now on Amazon. I'll leave a link for that in the description. That is not an affiliate link by any means. It's just down there if you want to see what the book is about and perhaps pre-order it for yourself. Let me know what you thought about the stories I covered in this video and let me know about some stories that I didn't cover in this video. Also in the description, as always, is social links for Morbidly Beautiful all over the interweb. So make sure you follow us on your favorite social media site to stay up to date on all things horror. I will see you guys next week with another horror news update. Until then, stay strange. Bye.